Hi everybody, welcome to today's FindTheBestCarPrice.com video. Today we're going to take a look at the 2022 Honda Ridgeline. This is the RTLE trim level. The exterior color is platinum white pearl. It has a beige interior and a sticker price of $44,440. Let's get started with our tour. For 2021, changes that carry over include the deletion of front-wheel drive, all trim levels of the Ridgeline are now all-wheel drive, and the changes from the A-pillar forward to give the Ridgeline a more boxy, aggressive look. Highlighted features include navigation built into the infotainment system, lane departure warning and lane keeping assist, parking sensors, and blind spot information system warning. The Ridgeline does come with LED headlights, LED fog lights, and of course you can see the daytime running lights as we work our way around to the side. That is a heated power side view mirror. Now it's not power folding, it does fold manually. That does also have the turn signal indicator built in. And 24560 R18, that's going to be 24560 size tire with 18 inch wheels at all four corners. And as we work our way to the engine compartment, we're going to find the 3.5 liter V6, 280 horsepower, 266 foot-pounds of torque, and the 9-speed automatic transmission, of course, puts power to the ground through the all-wheel drive system. MPGs come in at 18 city and 24 out on the highway. Dual exhaust, of course, seen at the rear of the truck, and here is that tailgate that opens a couple of different ways. It does open the conventional way of folding down, but it also folds out. As you can see on the screen right now, bed liner here, of course, you've got some interior lighting to help, got tie downs there. But the main thing I wanna focus on here is the bed trunk, something you don't find on all trucks, a very unique feature. You got all that space down there that can be partitioned off. There is a drain plug so that you can fill that area with ice. You can put snacks and drinks in there when the ice melts down. It's easy to drain. Of course, you can also use this area to hose off dirty boots or overalls or coveralls or whatever. And of course, there is the spare tire. This is one reason why it's so important to have that tailgate that swings out as it does. It makes access to the spare tire when you remove everything to move that tray back a lot easier. Of course, like I said, the tailgate does fold down in the conventional position, but everything's easy to get to. You can also have speakers built into the bed as well for great tailgating. Got the power sliding rear window. And as we take a look at the beige interior for the first time, we'll take a quick look inside. Of course, you do have multiple cup holders. You can raise the seats to increase cargo space. That is a very nice feature. Air conditioning vents and connectivity on the rear of the console. And as we make our way to the front seat, of course, you can see the dual door bins, upper and lower, quite a bit of space there. You definitely will have a lot of drink holders built into the interior here. You'll also find power seats for the driver and passenger in the front seat. And we'll take a little bit of a look into the glove box to just to see what kind of space you have. It's a fairly deep glove box. Not anything out of the ordinary, but it is there nonetheless for quite a bit of space. Armrests built into those seats. And on the driver's side door, one additional feature you will find is seat memory that is built in for the driver's seat. Two different settings there. Again, that is a power driver's seat. You've got the adjustments for the mirrors, econ mode. You can turn that on or off right there. And of course, some of the features for the safety features if you want to turn those on and off. Looking at the instrument cluster and the steering wheel with those steering wheel mounted controls where you can run through a lot of different features and functionality. Of course, you have your cruise control right there on the right hand side of the steering wheel. And they're very easy to use. Honda infotainment system. Also, push button start to start and stop the engine. Dual zone climate control. Just dual zone. I have tri zone here, but I think that's right for the front seat and rear. Heated seats for the driver and passenger. Only ventilated available as far as I know in Canada, but not in the U.S. Here is more connectivity and wireless charging on the RTLE trim level, one of multiple trim levels of the Ridgeline that do offer that. Now, tell me down in the comments what your thoughts are on the push button shifter. There are varying views of that. Of course, you have multiple driving modes there. You've got 
drive sequential. You even have snow mode and all that stuff. And taking a look down into the console, quite a bit of space there and a lot of versatility. You can actually move that tray out of the way or take it out completely if you want to, depending on the situation. There are the controls for the rear window and the sunroof and the conversation mirror as well. So quite a few interesting features here on the Ridgeline. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Not going to be able to do a test drive today because this truck was parked in the showroom, but that's a quick look at the 2022 Honda Ridgeline RTLE. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out another of the videos that's on the screen right now. We look forward to seeing you there.